Dear class leaders, uh, we'll continue the chapter number four, that is the power. Okay? So in the last session we discussed about the different parts of the power, okay, different worlds of the power. Uh, today we'll begin from that uh, you know from that point itself, uh, as I have written there on the board also, that is parts of the power. Okay, so let's begin now. Uh, as you all knew that from the last, in the last session we said that you know there are a complete power, a bisexual power has four important words or parts. They are sepals, petals, stamens, and pistils or pistons. So sepals are collectively called calyx, petals are collectively called corolla, stamens are collectively called androsium, and pistol. Or pistols are collectively called dimension or carpels. Dimensions or carpels. Okay, so now some of the terms are there which are related to these parts and they are very new for you. That's why you need to understand them with full concentration. And I want you all to please be there and look or uh, see this you know, virtual class. Keeping your copy or your book open. Okay, I want you all to please be here or see the class keeping your book open. Okay, now see. Uh, sepals and petals. What they are, what kind of structures are, you know, sepals and petals that we discussed in the last class recently. Now, what you have to understand now is this. See, in some cases, in some flowers, you see, the sepals and petals look alike. They are similar. They cannot be differentiated. Okay? Such structure. And at that time, when they look alike, they cannot be differentiated. Then they are called tables. They are called what? Tables. That is when sepals and petals are undifferentiated. When they look alike, then they are called tables. And these tables may be green color, may be in non-green color. Okay, and if the tables are green in color, then they are called you know separate tables. Okay, and let me tell you one thing, these tables are collectively called terrier. Okay, these tables are collectively called period. And when these period or tables are green in color, then they are called separate period. Okay, when they are green in color, then they are called separate period. And when they are in non green color, non green color, then they are called Petaloid period. Petaloid period. Okay? Please you try to memorize it. Period. Separate period and petaloid period. Then another word you find there associated to this that is brat. Okay, brat. So brat is a word. You just have to understand. Uh, it's a word given to that structure of the power. When a flower arises from the edges of the leaf-like structure of a plant, so that time that structure is called bract. You see here the diagram is given, okay, and that can be clearly seen in a kind of a plant called bougainvillea. You see bougainvillea. Bougainvillea is a kind of flower. Sometimes you get confused with the, the flower of Bougainvillea. Say, thinking that you know, the end of the priority part which you see to be the flower, but actually it's not that flower. You see it. This flower is there in the middle, originated from the edge of the leaf like structure. But the flower is here inside, as it is labeled here, this flower. But this priority part, leaf like priority part which you see is your bracket. Is what? Bread. 
So bright means when the normal arises from the axis of the deep black structure, then the structure is said to be the bright. That can be clearly seen in the nebula, which is found in a very colorful, uh, you know, structure. That is a bright. Then other parts that uh, that you have to understand according to the the you know syllabus given in your book is this sexuality in flowers, flowers sexuality in flowers. So flowers may be of different sex. It may be unisexual, it may be bisexual, it may be you know male, it may be female. So these are the different terms used there. See here, unisexual flower. When it is flower said to be a unisexual flower. So it is unisexual when there is only one sex. Uni means one. Okay, that means flower may be flower may be you know of one sex. It may be containing you know female part here or male part. Okay, if only one sex is present there, then the flower is said to be unisexual flower. Okay, similarly when both the sexes are present. Both the sexes means both, you know, male and female parts are there. Then the flower is said to be the bisexual flower. That means your stamens. Stamens act as the male part. Last time I mentioned it. Okay, male part. Your stamens act as a male part of the flower. If the flower contains only stamen, then it is unisexual flower. But which unisexual? Which? which uh, sex having power there that is male power, staminate power. It is also called staminate power. Male or staminate power. Male or staminate power. Okay, so male or staminate power like papaya, you see? Papaya. Okay, so then uh, like male power, the papaya may be of, you know, male power. Uh, maybe the plants are having only either. Male power there or female power. That is, this is a unisexual power. Okay, when you find either only male power there or female power. So if a power contains only stamen, then it is a unisexual power, but in the same time it is stamen power or male power. Similarly, similarly, if a power is there containing only pistol, Contain only pistol or dinosaur or carpals it is a unisexual flower, but in the meantime it is a female flower. It is a what? Female flower. So it is symbolized like that. Okay, then, then bisexual flower. When a flower contains both the sexes, then in the same flower, that means when a flower contains both the sexes together at a time, then the flower is said to be. Bisexual flower. That is when both of these are present, stamens and pistils, endosome and dinosaurs, when are present together, then it is called bisexual flower. For example, hibiscus, hibiscus flower, tomato. So they are the examples of you know, bisexual flowers. Okay? So and then there are some flowers, okay, in some cases, you know, uh, both the sexes are. Lacking both male and female parts are not there. Okay, both male and female parts are not there. Like in the case of you, know, you see real flowers of sunflower, kind of flower called sunflower, then you find the pistols. Pistols are present, so they are the pistillate flower, but pistols are sterile. Okay, it is sterile means it doesn't function, it doesn't perform the function there, that means it is of no use. Such flowers where both male and female sexes are not present, where both male and female parts are not there, such kinds of flowers are called neuters. Please remember N E U T E R neuter. So these are the different you know, types of flowers based on sex. So this is called sexuality in flowers. Alright, please. You try to understand all those new words because till class you had the idea of you know, the laws, but these were the new words that you have to understand, which you got in this standard. Okay? Okay.
here now we'll see general description of the of the program parts as given in the book. Okay, so we all knew that this guy is called and Russian and Gaiushin. I just had the Gaiushin of course. So there are some new terms again, okay, related to this calyx. There are some conditions which you find in the calyx and those new conditions are differently named that you have to understand. Okay, so holy centers in some cases, in some hours, what you find is that uh, this calyx, as you all know that calyx consists of usually four or five sepals. Okay, four or five sepals are there usually in the flowers to constitute calyx. And which means sepals are collectively called calyx, which may be four or five numbers. Okay, it may be sometimes more than that or less. And when such sepals are freely arranged, when they are freely located, they are on thalamus, thalamus or receptacle, then it is called polysepals, as you see there in the diagram. Here I have drawn four sepals, which are all free. They are not united. One, two, three, four can easily be counted. They can easily be counted. One, two, three, four. Okay, so they are separately arranged here, which are not united. Such free sepals are called polysepals. Poly means many. Similarly, in some cases, the sepals are arranged like that. They are united. They are joined. They are fused, as you see here. Only this topmost part of this, you know, uh, sepals is seen free, but Remaining part, almost 78 percent of the part of this you know, sepals you might be fused or joined. Such kind of you know sepals or such kinds of the sepals is called gamosepals. What is that? Gamosepals. Okay, and uh, sometimes what we find is that in some cases, okay, uh, like in the case of the you know, hibiscus, just similar to the sepals, similar to the calyx, there is another series of you know, sepal-like structure. Okay? And they are called epicephals. They are called epicephals. Epicephals. And similarly, they are called epicalyx also. Something like that, you know, that your calyx will just, uh, you know, similar to this, another, you know, uh, this kind of structure is formed there. Sample like structure is formed there. Okay? In some cases, like the hibiscus. Okay, so they are called epicalyx or no epicephals. Okay? Then the corolla. Similarly, corolla in the flowers we find to be four or five in number. Okay, in some cases they are three, in some cases they are united. Similarly, the names have been given here. You see, polysepals. Poly, sorry, polypetalus. It is what? Polypetalus. Polypetalus. Which means the flower having the, you know, petals not joined. Freely petals you find there. I mean, free petals you find there in such, I mean, in some kinds of flowers. And such arrangement of the petals is called polypetalus or such petals are called polypetalus. When it can be freely counted, you see here, they are not joined, they are all free. One, two, three, I have you not know, drawn out here. So they are polypetalus, they are not joined. But in some cases, just contrary to that, you find the petals joined, united, which is here. Okay, they are all joined. One, two, three, four. How? It can be seen, but they are all joined out here. They are fused here. They are fused. It's not, you know, free like this. It's all joined here. So such kinds of you know, petals are called gamma petals. Please remember. Then androsium. Androsium also are found uh, to be arranged in different bundles. That is, in some cases you find one bundle of you know, petals, I mean your androsium is there. In some cases there are more than one, in some cases you find more than two, more than I mean, three, like that. Accordingly, the names have been given. See. Androsium, if you know that this is androsium, this is your androsium, okay? 
this is called anthem that we discussed last time also. And this is called pilami. This is called you know, pilami. So this anthem and pilami constitute your studying and collectively studying cipher and Russian. And this Russian is the tone sometimes or not only in one word in some flowers. In some cases you find two, in some cases you find more than two. So accordingly, the names have been given here. As I try to make you understand with the help of diagrams here, you see, here, in case of China also, you can see China was also, then in China also, you find the Andrusians are only in one bundle. Like this, only in one bundle. So, such kinds of Andrusian is called monoadalpas. M-O-N-O-A-A-D-E-L-P-H-O-S. Monoadalpas, please see the book also. Then, in some cases, you find the bundles of these Andrusians two in number. As you see here, one and two. Such kinds of Andrusians are called diadalpas. Di means two. And in some cases, you find more than two. Here you see, one, two, three, four, like in the case of Gopas. Here the title of this, you can see the pea plant. And here you see uh, this kind of, you know, arrangement of the Andrusian you know, in more than four bundles, more than two bundles, you know, can be seen here in a plant called Gopas. And such kinds of Andrusian are called polyadalpas. Poly means many. Okay, so this is the arrangement of this, you know, the androsyms, I mean, I mean androsyms, they're in the plural as far as the bundles of the androsyms or the stamens, you know, is concerned. As you see here, monadalpus, diadalpus, and polyadalpus. Then the last part of the plural that you have to understand is your dinosaur. Dinosaur. Okay, so dinosaur here. Okay, you have dinosaur you see. So gynosium consists of stigma, slender part, part is called style. Okay, then this is called your OBE. And then inside the OBE, as you see here, you find the structures like this, and they are called OBE. They are called what? OBE. Okay, and this OBE contains the female reproductive cells inside. And this OBE is connected with the ovary here. Okay, this your ovary is connected with the ovary here. This means your ovary is attached to the ovary with the help of a kind of tissue called placenta. Or what? Placenta. Okay, so these are the different things that you have to understand about the dimension and as a whole, this dimension act as a female reproductive part. And this act as a male reproductive part, which was told in the last class also. Okay, so this is all about the uh, parts of a uh, flower and the new terms that we have found here, you know, related to those parts here that you have to understand and memorize. Okay, like you know, what is bright, what is uh, period, what is separate period, what is, uh, you know, beta -like period, that only you have to understand what is the polycephalos, what is the amycephalos, what is the picalis, polypetalus, hemopetalus, monoidalus, diagonalus, polyadalus. These are the new terms for young men who said that you never heard it before. So please, please memorize them with the help of the diagram. Okay? So today we will probably discuss. Thank you very much.